Uh, he's pretty close. And then Danny, number one into Middle Tennessee and Tennessee. Very true. Let's Our get boy. Get right onto it. PS2. Got button. Thought for a second we were going to get a button check the way they started, but they just jumped straight into it right after that. Honestly, this matchup is like. I would say it's pretty difficult for Wolf a lot. Like, Wolf definitely struggles a bit against the, uh, pretty much the fight game characters. Like, a lot of Wolf fans don't like it. I don't like it. But uh, I know for a fact that Danny's going to have to be very careful and cautious of this Kazuya here, especially with Electric Wind Godfist, the amount of invincibility and high frames that, you know, uh, Kazuya has. And honestly, it's just going to be very hard for Wolf to, like, really stay in without getting punished himself. I was, I was gonna say, is it because Wolf, a lot of Wolf's moves, especially the good combo starters, you have to get in. And if the Kazuya just waits a second in shield, you just might get Electro Gun Godfist zero to death. Oh, and then yeah. you have to start over again. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And even more so, it's just, it's easy for Wolf to bully on Kazuya, but it's just like, he's gotta be very aware. Like, a B out of shield will just punish the living dog lights out of Wolf. Uh, no pun intended, because yeah. he is a canine. <laughs> you, gotta, it, you gotta get your openings for sure to really like execute your kills. And Kazuya is the character that is the, ch the execution check. If you mess up, you're out. Yeah, and we gotta talk about how Danny was like really playing it slow here. Was keeping his distance, not really engaging. You took uh, the words out of my mouth yeah, because Nicole he really is taking his time. Yeah. Especially now that Kazuya's got Rage Drive on deck. Danny's really gonna have to play patient if he doesn't want to eat an early stock, especially after all the hard work you put into it. Uh, ooh, I feel like that was a drop combo for a while, but good DI coming from Danny. But that doesn't even matter with the Rage Art Drive coming from Wild, bro. And Danny going straight back in with the grab to get him off stage. Is there an edge guard? Going for a ledge trap. Honestly, that might be the hard part. It's like, you don't want to really trade. Especially with, uh, at Kazuya. the ledge with Kazuya, man. Yeah, I agree, agree. Both of these players just jumping around, trying to cover their space, and Wild's getting in a quick 58 on Danny. Yeah, I still think Danny needs to just play it slow and not get too impatient. This is like the problem that I think a lot of Wolf things have, for those part, because coming back is kind of hard, but we have the ability to do it. You've got the tools there. to do it. Sometimes you just got to be a little more patient than you normally want to. And especially, again, against Kazi. I know we're going to keep saying that a lot during this set, but when you really boil it down to brass tacks, if you mess up, Kazuya will put, like, punish you and probably kill you for it. And if you can't get your zone in, Wolf is just going to struggle the entire time. Yep. Honestly, regardless if he did air or fair there, I mean, he still would have gotten punished. It's, it's just a tough call. Right there. Nice up smash, but unfortunately does not pay out. But nice up smash just to, you know, <laughs> recollect his debt. It's hard so to think that 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 was a little bit too much aggression. Like, one simple fair got him up smash for that. And Danny's already at 61%. Yeah, and honestly, what Danny could do is just, like, harass him with lasers and take his time because, mm -hmm. from my understanding, is Rajar Drive depletes through time. And I know percent for sure. And but missed attempts at grabs. Yes. And the more you hit him, the uh, faster that time kind of uh, drains out the rage out. I love watching Danny's movement, man. He is so he good at just controlling space just by walking and jumping around. Yeah. Rage drive off deck. F tilt not enough to kill Kazi, a super heavy character. Oh, I, I felt it. I felt it. Jab sitting him straight down, not getting him off ledge the way he wanted to. And will that? Too close to the middle stage. There we go. Great nice F tilt. Too. Nice fire. Good to tag. Recover. Oh, and great punish on the air dodge the stage. If he holds center here, honestly, uh, Danny can definitely bring it back. Great dash attack. Oh. Nice. Yep. Danny got him in a bad spot. What's Wild's going to do? And it's all because Danny was just holding center stage while unfortunately mm -hmm. getting punished by that back air there. Try to uh, cheese him off of that down air. Wild's right there. I don't want to see Danny play so close to the ledge, but he's obviously making the right approach by, like, waiting to get back to middle stage. Great nah. dash attack. 
Uh, Greed tried to uh, greet him with that back air. Nice jab just to get him off him. Great grab. Danny got Wilds in a really bad spot again. Even without the Rage Art, the Dow B is still going to accomplish the same thing. So regardless, Danny's going to have to watch out for that grab. Command grab in general. From our, I'm surprised uh, Wilds backed off there. He, had, he was cornering Danny, and he kind of spaced out a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's it. No question. And a great, what was that, down B? Yeah, that's down B. I mean, what can you say, right? Both players just adapted the whole time. They really just t took turns, felt each other out, and then made the other one play a different game. Nah, I 100% agree. What's good, Kaboot? How you doing, bro? I see you in chat. Shout out to all the homies in chat today. Thanks for hanging out with us, even if you couldn't make it. All right, running the game two. Three, two, one, right back on PS2. Go. We've seen it so much today. Hey, as Coney says, man, PS2 makes the best games. Danny almost taking a camping approach to staying on the platforms to kind of stay out of Kazuya's pressure zones. Honestly, that was good for Wilds. Even though he dropped that platform combo, he still picked it up, man. Almost would have got the kill. Oh, now Danny's, Danny's crazy. <laughs> Danny's picking up with these tech chases here. Wilds confirms. Sometimes don't look real. I, he got it, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for sure. What a tough spot to be in. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's Danny going ahead and just ending that stock a little bit. Take some time on the plat. Reset yourself. You said it perfectly. He's got to go slow. He's got to play his space. And I think Danny wanted to take a more aggressive approach to try to feel Wilds out a little bit more. And this is like the one hard thing about playing as Wolf that I I almost feel like a lot of people don't understand. Never mind, that be. But don't understand <laughs> simple fact it's like not only is Wolf, I, I say he's the cloud of ultimate. Like how everybody knows uh Cloud from Smash 4 in that matchup. Yeah. It's just that he's the cloud for ultimate, so everybody knows it. And on top of that, like his out of shield game is just lackluster. He's got to play. He's got to come from the air to start his combos. It's just way too much. And it don't, it don't even matter, bro. He was already dead. <laughs> but he made sure. He said he locked in, bro. Sniped him with that laser. Hey, say 15% or more on your auto surge <laughs> with the laser from Kazuya. That's basically what he was doing. Man, sponsored by Geico, man. Danny sticking with Wolf. We know he's got a Diddy he's been working on. All right, first and foremost, let me say this, man. I am not downplaying Wolf. I did not say he was a bad character. Yeah. I made the character. But I'm also still going to point out the weaknesses, too. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. So hold that, Bruce. <laughs> Danny just trying to stay out of Wild's range, trying to get him to overcommit somewhere. And really just controlling his space, trying to take his time. <laughs> hey, look, man, I, I'll be the first to tell you, I do not downplay characters whatsoever. I'll tell you weaknesses and strengths, but I will never, I will never deny if a character is dumb or strong. Never. And Ultimate has, sure does have a lot of dumb characters. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. Nice down smash coming from Danny right there, taking the first stop. Which, actually, I think that's, like, the first time he's taking his first stop, period, in this mm -hmm. set. Yes, sir. And playing his space, we see him evade, we see him leaving, because he knows he's got the momentum to move around Kazuya. And as long as he doesn't get caught by a cheeky hit, he can move in and out of the ledge and try to bait Wilds in a little bit more. Yeah, I definitely understand the hatred towards uh, Kazuya, yeah. in my opinion, but I, I personally don't hate him. I'm a Tekken no. fan, so I have immense fire. But I also love Wolf, too. Favorite animal, love the Star Fox series, minus zero. They're not cool. need to be made. <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with Kazuya either. Like, I definitely get that he's a hard character and he's super polarizing, but in my opinion, he's, it's, I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And honestly, Danny is really running away with the second stock on Wilds. Is Wilds going to finish it? Yes, with that us smash. Good reach. He waited. 130 extra percent, though. And with the way Danny's moving right now, he's not worried about it. Yep. We're going to see a firm stack. Oh my god, bro! He brought it back! 
Oh, Sorry to uh, earphone yeah. users back at home, but oh my <laughs> lord, bro. Wild just bro. literally living up yeah. to his name. That shit was wild, bro. Oh, yeah, that's rats. Oh my god. Danny is so good. Like, on the lead.